Now, what do you know about graphene? It's the strongest known material, it's environmentally friendly, and it's also very stretchy. It's used in aerospace engineering, digital electronics and clothing. But it's also used to make a very special paint which can remove carbon emissions from the air. The first graphene paint factory in this country is in Norfolk. This from Robbie West. It looks like a typical coat of paint, but what's being put on these walls is made with one of the newest materials discovered by scientists. Decorator Dominic was using graphene paint on a house just outside Bury St Edmunds today. He says that a tin of the new paint is slightly more expensive than the product he would usually use, but because he has to put fewer coats on, it works out cheaper for his customers. This is uh, about £15. Um, a litre of lime wash is about £10. I prefer this, yes, so like a cat with nine tails when I found out about this paint. It's uh, so much easier and so much better than lime wash. So what exactly is graphene? Well, it's a type of carbon, like the lumps of charcoal that you'd use on your barbecue. The difference is scientists at the University of Manchester isolated it down to a single atom. You can best see that under a microscope. Graphene's honeycomb structure makes it incredibly strong and flexible. It's already been used for aerospace engineering and digital electronics, and now the material that's 200 times stronger than steel is being combined with paint. Our paints are infused with graphene fibres. Uh, what they do is they mix it up incredibly quickly and you just basically get paint. Looks exactly like normal paint. Yeah, with graphene. Ben Sturge's factory in Holston, Norfolk is the first in the country to mix up graphene paint. He explained that it also has environmental benefits. As the graphene paint cures, it will capture carbon dioxide uh, 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 in its, in its, uh, I say, in its curing process. So, in effect, it will help to purify the surrounding air. The UK government has committed to cutting emissions to almost zero by 2050. The Prime Minister said advances in technology will be crucial to help us achieve the target. Meeting this challenge will drive innovation and higher standards in the construction sector. Back at the house that's being painted, one wall is finished. It's a home that has been renovated in an environmentally friendly way. We had the house insulated with sheep's wool for that reason. And so now to have a paint that's environmentally friendly uh, is very important to us and doing our bit for the planet. Britain is the first major nation to propose cutting greenhouse gas emissions to almost zero by 2050. The inventors of graphene paint hope that their product can play a role in helping achieve that. Robbie West, BBC Look East.